Hey guys, this is going to be a quick video today. I'm going to show you how to use my new Techno Parrot Gun Wizard. And what this is, is a wizard that's going to basically set up all of your games, all of the controls, so that you don't have to go game by game setting up all the inputs. So basically you have the shortcut right here on the desktop, TP Gun Wizard. Now before we get into that, just know that you must follow my main install video for the Sendence. That is going to be the MAME and Windows video where I show you how to set them up uh, set up the guns in the send in utility and also how to run my main arcade one send in installer now this tp gun wizard is also for aim tracks so it's not just for send in so okay with that out of the way let's go ahead and start it up and the first thing it's going to tell you it's that it's going to delete everything it's going to set everything back to default uh, do you wish to continue you're going to lose any custom settings uh, most of you are not going to care about that so we're going to say okay then it's going to ask you to choose your gun type. Do you have a Sendin? Do you have a name track? So for this example, we're going to choose Sendin. So then it's going to ask you how many guns do you have? We're going to go with two guns. And then here's the instructions of what you have to do next. So a Techno Parrot is going to open and it tells you what to do. We're going to do that right now. And you can take a picture of this. If you're watching this video. You don't need to do that because I'm going to show you what to do. But that's all this is. So I'm going to click OK on that. And then Techno Parrot is going to open. Now for this part, you have to go over here to controller setup, click on that. You don't want to do anything else in here. Don't click anything else. Just go right to here. And then uh, if you have a send in gun or send in guns, you're going to go ahead and select your gun from the drop down right here. So if I click on that, I have aim tracks plugged in right now as well, because I'm going to show you guys what you would do there if you had those. But for send in, you should know which is your player one and which is your player two. Right now I have a blue gun and a red gun. I know that my blue gun is my player one gun. That's how I set it up in the Sinden software. And my red gun is my player two gun. So if you don't know that, if you forgot which is your player one and player two, which I doubt you did, but in case you did, or maybe you don't know the name of it, if you go over here to the little arrow, uh, the Sinden software is actually gonna be running for both players. So there's two instances. I'm gonna open them up. I'm gonna open the other one up. If they open and close, just go and do it again over here, all right? So easy way to tell which is player two is you go to the button assignment. And if you see that there's a two and a six, that's a uh, player two. So then if I go to select light gun, you can see that my player two gun is light gun red. And if you go over here to buy an assignment, you can see that it's a one and a five. That is my player one. So if I go to select a light gun, that's going to be blue. So I'm just going to minimize these. Do not close them. Then I'm going to come back here and I know which player is which now, right? So player one next to the player one light gun, I'm going to select blue, send in light gun blue. Player two, I'm going to select send in light gun red. And then one other thing you have to do for each player is assign the player one start. So I'm going to click the field and I'm going to press my right front button on the gun. Very important to press your right front button. So I'm going to do that. It could say D5 or D1, depending on whether you're pointing at or away from the screen. Doesn't matter. Just press that button. For player to start, same thing. Click the field. Press my front right button on my red gun. There you go. All you have to do now is click save and close out Techno Parrot. Now, if you have a aim track gun or two aim track guns, uh, you're going to do the same thing, except you're not going to select anything for uh, player one start or player two start. You're simply going to select your player one gun right here, which should be uh, called aim track number one. And you're going to select your second gun here, which is going to be called aim track number two. That is all you have to do. After that, you click save settings. Let me do that now, save settings. doesn't matter that I selected send them in the beginning. Um, this works the same way for both, and I'm just showing you guys what to do. So there you go, I clicked save settings. And then I'm just going to go ahead and hit the X up here. And then it's going to tell me that it's all done. And that's it. That's all you have to do. All right, guys, that is going to be all for this video. I'll see you on the next one.